Hello, I'm Philip Allen Baker and welcome to episode 5 of The Quantum of Stupid. Now this is about a device that you'd never see going around the house normally because it lives in the basement and that's the Windows Home Server. Now even though I'm going to criticise one feature of it, it is a really excellent thing to have in your house particularly if you're using Windows. And that's because it provides you with a single machine that's responsible for taking backups of every system you have in the house. And they don't just need to be Windows, they'll back up Linux and Macs as well. And it also serves as a central Windows file store. So if you have more than one machine in the house, you don't need to worry about copying machines from one to the other, you can simply use your documents from that file store and it's always on, it's always there. You don't need to worry about turning on the machine upstairs to use files on it. It's great. And it also has fault tolerant file system. So if a drive goes bad, the system is responsible for working out the drive is bad, copying the data, fixing it. It's like RAID, but it's better than RAID because you don't need to pre-configure it. You buy a big drive, you just stick it in the machine, say, hey, you've got another drive to play with, and the software takes care of everything. And it's also very cheap. I paid just over 500 bucks for the machine, and to increase the storage, you just buy more SATA disk drives, which currently cost, what, 100 bucks a terabyte? It's a really nifty machine to have if you're using Windows at home. So, what's the problem? Well, this is a backup machine, and it's a machine that backs up every machine in the house. So you've got copies of all your videos, all your photos, everything. So, how do I back up my Windows Home Server? And the Windows Home Server is in the house, so if the house burns down, the home server will go with it. So really, you need to be thinking about off-site backup in case the physical media and the machine are, are all destroyed. And this is something that is just not supported in Windows Home Server 1.0, which is a really sad omission because this whole machine purpose is backup. And so that's why it makes the quantum of stupid, I'm afraid. Easy way to fix it, just add another option on the control panel and allow it to use one of these things. It's an external SATA port, allow you to drop in a SATA drive, use it essentially as a large floppy disk. Take a copy, take it off site, and then if your house burns down, your videos and your photos are secure. Really simple change to make. Why didn't you do it in version 1.0? And so that's why, even though it's a great machine, I'm afraid it's made today's Quantum of Stupid. Thanks for watching.